Hello, my name is Aiden. Subscribe to Whips and Tips. Directly stick it in there. Just directly stick it in there, man. No pun intended. What's up, guys? It's for some tips. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys the key tips to learning how to do a foot jam uh, tail whip. Uh, at first, what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to start by rolling up, put one of your foot on the pedals and the other. Hold up, the cars are coming. Crap. Sorry about that, but all my neighbors keep looking at me thinking that I'm like recording their cars about a tournament for speeding. Okay, so what you guys want to do is you guys want to first roll up to the foot jam tail whip like this. And you guys are going to see right here, you don't want to put your foot back here. I got a clip of me putting it back there and it jamming my toe up. And Ow! Oh, yeah. There, that's why I almost didn't get a cleaner foot jam tail whip it's hard to get clean uh, foot jam tail whips on flat ground because uh, as soon as you land your momentum likes to roll back for some reason also uh, by the way this trick isn't very useful for anything you can't do it in a line or anything so there's really no point in using it but uh, I, I just think it's fun because some people think it's cool and like whenever uh, your friends ask you to do a trick I did a bar spin, they didn't think that was too cool, then I did a foot jam tail whip and they act like I was a freaking god. I don't know why, I guess it just looks cooler. But yeah, you want to put your foot right there, do it like this. Of course, kick with your back foot. Try to keep your cranks, see how they're straight, because I'm right foot forward. Try to keep them straight whenever you kick, so whenever you kick around, it comes around. I mean, it seems pretty practical, but some people just don't know where to kick. What you guys want to do is just kick that right on your crank. Just take that foot and whip it around. But uh, after you get them good like that, I'm going to teach you guys uh, how to get them like the pro people do. Not the hop whips, but the foot jam tail whips where you don't have to put your foot over the frame then uh, swing the frame around. Alright guys, so, so you guys have got it down now so where you can put your foot over like this and kick it with your uh, back foot. And um, you guys can land that and if your cranks are spinning consider tightening your chain a little bit or just uh, try to kick it whenever your cranks keep your cranks in line the whole time instead of kicking it while your cranks all the way down here like that try to kick it up like that and then around put up another car but uh, also how you guys are going to get the frame down to control this Whenever you guys kick it around, you guys might run into the problem. Alright, so whenever you guys kick it around, you might run into the problem. Well, your frame gets around here, in this region. Okay, so you kick it out like this. Then it gets right here and it stops. That's what was wrong with me for the longest time. What you guys want to do, since whenever you kick it out, you're, going, you're pushing the bars down. It likes to come down and hit that. So what you guys want to, going to, want to do now, whenever you kick your foot out, initially... I'm foot jamming with my knees right now, but go like this and then pull back up on your bars so that that doesn't hit anymore. Also, what you guys want to do, don't try to land with your back foot, try to land with your front foot. Make sure your coasters engage, and in that case, you can just land on your front foot and you don't have to worry about getting a shinner. Alright, so you guys have learned how to put it over, kick it around, you guys are dipping your bars down. And then bringing them back up, you know what I mean. I can't get the frame to go around without foot jamming. But, you know, and you, then wherever you do it, just put that foot in the air, keep this one up, and then press out. That's how you guys can do it. And then once you guys get better, you guys can try to land double foot. But it's going to be easier to do it on, like, a bank. So you guys can do down whips. That's the most, like, clean thing for a foot jam whip. Uh, so now I'm going to teach, be teaching you guys how to get the... Uh, frame around like I did it in the beginning. I was on my pedals. I jumped I kicked out the frame and then I foot jammed so Basically, just make sure you have enough time to kick it around and as soon as you get that Curl your toes up in your shoes so you don't smash them and just foot jam right in there. Hold up Man, these neighbors are giving me the looks thinking that I'm like recording their license plate, man 
yeah, you do, what you guys are going to want to just do is uh, kick your frame out as hard as you can with your foot. It's the same thing. Make sure you guys aren't trying to like foot jam like this because that's not going to go good. And you guys might miss your foot on the uh, foot jam a few times and go into your back. That's the scariest part about this trick. Uh, let me think of some more stuff uh, else to say about that. I just thought of another uh, really good point. Whenever you guys are practicing like this, don't roll up like this on the foot jam and then foot jam. Like don't put your foot right here, slide it, and then go up because you guys are going to cause holes in the bottom of your shoe. That's what I had whenever I was very first learning this trick. And also to wear out your tire. Mine aren't worn out from that. I've just had them for like a very long time. That's why mine are worn down. But yeah, that was just another point. Do not slide your foot. Just directly stick it in there. Just directly stick it in there, man. No pun intended. There's one last tip I gotta give to you guys, and it's if you guys keep on rolling back after you guys are landing, try to go down a very gradual slant. Like the most gradual slant, not even like a hill or anything, because then you're, you're gonna keep on hitting your back right here. If you guys wanna get gonna try it on a slant so that you guys can roll forward after foot gem toe, remember you guys are gonna have to pull this back harder to keep that uh, back end up. So just remember that so you guys don't hit your back on the ground and it doesn't stop all your momentum on the tailway. All right, that's all I have to say for this how-to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. It helps me out so much. I post videos a lot more often than I used to. I don't know like a schedule. I don't really have one. But with school coming, uh, coming back up, I haven't really been able to put as much, you know, make, put as much content out there. And I uh, wrecked downtown Columbus. So I've been letting these scabs here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links down below for more videos. Peace.